Welcome to our course on Bootstrap version 4 by Edonix and in today's chapter we are going to learn about Bootstrap v4 plugins along with a demo code example. These are some of the plugins utility. Plugin adds specific features to web components. It supports customization. It bundles with jQuery plugins as well which makes your uh, code more attractive and interactive. It also reduces HTML and JS lines of code which makes your code more compact and easy to understand. See how to use plugins in Bootstrap v4. Here we have got two options. One is individual inclusion and other one is all inclusive. So individual inclusion includes all those individual plugins components but in all inclusive all the components are included and it's just one file which has definition of all those individual plugins. So let's see how do we do that. First of all let's see what are the types of available plugins in Bootstrap version 4. So here's the list alert button, carousal, collapse, drop down, model, pop over, scroll spy, tab, tooltip and util. Now let's start our demo on individual inclusion and all inclusive inclusion. So to start our demo, let's go to Google and search for Bootstrap V4. Open the first link. Click on download Bootstrap. Scroll down. In our last tutorial, we used Bootstrap, CSS and JS. But in this, we need source file as well. So we are going to download this version. Once it is downloaded, we need to extract it. Right click, extract here. This is our bootstrap package. Now we need one IDE to create our project. So I'm going to use Eclipse Neon. It's an open source IDE. So give it some time to load. Now let's create our workspace. So I'm going to give bootstrap underscore plugins. Click OK. Now our workspace is being created. Okay, so uh, let's close down this welcome tab and now we need to create a new project. So we'll go to file, select new and for bootstrap we always use static web project. Let's give the project name as bootstrap. plugin rest everything would be same click next finish and hit yes so our new project is here and we have got a web content folder as well so now let's copy our extracted project into web content folder So copy and paste it here. So 
So here's the whole package. You can see we have got multiple folders this time. Our CSS and JS files are here. And all of those individual plugins are located under this folder here. So let's start building our demo. For that, you need to click on your project, new, and create a new HTML file. Like give us like plug in demo and click on finish. So here is our skeleton code. Now we need to search for head and body section. Before that, let's just give a new title here. Plugin demo and save it. So let's go to Google again. Search for Bootstrap V4 like we did before, but this time click on Introduction and go to the Quick Start section here. So we have to copy this code inside Head section. Similarly, we have to copy the body code under body section save it okay now let's start and make it an offline project because right now it is taking the reference from a website I'm just gonna remove the online reference so now we have got CSS and bootstrap min, min CSS which is here but to verify its path I'm just going to right click, go to properties and copy its path here. And paste the same. Here. And since it is offline, we don't need integrity and cross join. Let's remove them. Integrity and cross origin is removed. Similarly, below you can see bootstrap min.js. That means it is all inclusive uh, plugins. So I'm going to remove the online resource from here as well. But to verify the path, just go to JS, bootstrap min.js, properties, and copy the path from test folder. And paste it here. Similarly, remove integrity and cross origin. And let's remove the upper two lines because we are not using it for this demo. So I've got a code already for all inclusive plugin. So I'm just gonna paste it inside the body section and then I'll explain it.
So this is our heading. This is an example on all-inclusive plugin approach. And then I'm using an alert class, which is alert success. And then there'll be a close sign after our alert. And our alert text is, this is an alert. You are unauthorized to enter this page. So how do we execute this code? To execute, we need to go to our HTML file. Right click, properties, and we have to copy the location. Open the web browser and paste the location here. Enter. So now you can see this is an example or on inclusive plugin approach. The title is here, our alert text is here, and it is in green color with a cross mark here. If you want to change the color of our alert, say I want a red color, I just need to use a different class. So it would be <clears throat> so it would be alert danger. Save it and let's refresh. So now it has become red in color. Similarly, if I want to use individual inclusion, then I need to change the source file and, a, and our code a little bit. So for that, let's first copy the individual plugin code. And for this demo, I'm going to use alert.js. So for our code, we have the same uh, heading. It's just that we have now got individual plugin. Alert success class, the close button and the text. So it is exactly the same. I just changed the title. And now for the source file, we'll go to JS disk and here is our alert.js file. We'll right click go to properties and we'll just paste the path in our source file so here the path would be replaced by an individual plugin js so let's save this And now let's run. Let's refresh this. So now you can see I, our title has been changed from all inclusive to individual plugin. Our alert class is now alert success. So this is in green color. This is our alert text with a cross sign. So we can always change our alert color with different classes so if I make it warning this should be a, in yellow color now so this is how it works so that's it for today's tutorial and in the next chapter we will learn about bootstrap 4 card